too cool. So, like, what do we got here? What are we looking at? Well, you're worried about, you know, like the throttle. <laughs> Is that wide open or what? <laughs> Is that your design? No. It's not? Guy in Australia built me this one. Holy. How many of those are around with that setup on the throttle? Around here, probably none. Anyways, this flywheel was done by a guy in Florida. You send him your old flywheel with 500 bucks and he mm. makes it half the weight. <laughs> What's the material? Yeah. Is it uh, titanium or aluminum or stainless? Or? Is, it the, is it the stock flywheel that came with the motor and then he customizes it? Yeah. So what is this power head, Lee? What are we looking at here, basically? It's a 2.5 liter. Okay. 25000 dollars worth if you went to buy one today. And horsepower? Uh, I think they dial out this at 380. <laughs> wow. What the hell is this thing here? Everyone holds two or three world records. That is not common. I mean, blades are blades, but that is not a normal blade. How does that work? That's your mercury prop? Yeah. They made this specially for me. Really? But anyways, what this does is slows you down. Like a brake? This slows you down, but when you get going fast, it doesn't do nothing. Oh, you mean like coming into a corner? Yeah. Right. Hmm. Fascinating. And it works, I guess, obviously. Yeah, it works for me. Did yeah. you, would you have to maneuver your coming into a corner power trim any different with a prop like that because of that feature? No. Okay. Jeez. This one was 500 bucks. <laughs> a blade. A blade. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, that's because the, uh, the, the, the purse, the money purse in boat racing is so big that, you know, there's, <laughs> yeah. there's you know, it, the, the, exactly. the expression out-of-pocket racing is absolutely uh, appropriate here. That's one box. I got two or three more. That has built in. Goes up and down an inch. Yeah, that much. That guy in Abbotsford, um, does he run in the Pacific Northwest? Is that what he's... In what? Does he run his race boat in the North, in the Pacific? From way back? What yeah. year? Yeah, way back. Have you ever seen what it was? No. Is that like from the 40s or something? Yeah. Oh my god, look at the size of it. Is that like a two-man? That's a two-man. Yeah. Like I can hurry up one. Yeah. yeah. Distant? Oh, wow. Where did you find it? Oh, a friend of mine had it. He got a better one, so he sold me that one. So it was a distant saw, and they contracted Mercury to put an engine on it, kind of thing. Yep. On the expansion chambers on their saws, they're all hopped up, oh, and they're yeah, yeah they like they twist up whatever twelve or fifteen thousand RPM, and they're just in a race to cut these trees. It's just they, pretty they crazy. Have a big fucking log like this, and they race to see what's kind yeah. of fast. They cut kind of like a fifteen second. Some yeah. guys have a small block Chevy on the chainsaw. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> Intakes. There's a carbureted one, then there's a, oh, okay. a Bendix, then the downdraft, and then you know the other one with the big horn. And yep. There's a three holer, and then there's that slider. Australian. Wow. Oh, you, that's the slider on the very end. Yeah. You, you got obviously that one, and then you got a backup to it. I got four of them on here. Straight them. <laughs> That's a beauty. Yeah. That's for 1250 BP. Yeah. Son of a gun. I want to hear one of those stackers again. Yeah. Before I die. Yeah, like I gotta, you say, I gotta get hear it down it. to the... I don't care if you put it on an engine stand down yeah, at the Yeah, that's right. Just fire it up. 
and you know, put a drum, drum, forty-five gallon of drum of fuel there, and let them call. The let yeah. them complain. Yeah. <laughs> Just sit on the side, wait for the cops. Uh, I think there are blossoms. Oh yeah. You didn't see them there? I did. Yeah. God, those are big lower units. Yeah, they're four short. Like big gears in that, eh? Yeah. Did, From the forties. Did any like in the later years? Did anybody race? Did Did Mercury build anything like a four-stroke no, racing engine? But not everything four-stroke. Mm -hmm. But OMC had a four-stroke outboard, I think, in 1912 or something. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Where did you get your four stroke? Yeah, there's a couple downstairs. Uh -huh. uh, I think there were blossoms. Oh, yeah. You didn't see them there? I did, yeah. God, those are big lower units. Yeah, they're, they're four-stroke. Like, big gears in that, eh? Yeah. It, From the 40s. Did any, like in the later years, did anybody race, did, did Mercury build anything like a four-stroke no, racing engine? But not everything's four-stroke. Mm -hmm. But OMC yeah. had a four-stroke Like this T2X and this T3, oh, are they rumble? Are they? These are all the components all there. Or like the nice said, yeah, I want to put a hot boat together and that. Or if they're not rumble, you've got the components to make them work. Well, this should run in three buildings. Okay. Three okay. This one they got some spare power heads for it. <laughs> Mercury making now in 2013 for high performance for race engines? Uh, Just the big stuff? Like their F1 motors? Well, you can't even buy the F1 motors. You can buy a lower unit or a tower or a power head, but not a complete engine. Mm. <clears throat> right now? No. You can't work on one, you gotta have five or six on the go all the time. Because you can't get parts. Right. Or, uh, exactly. So, would this one get to a position where you can actually run it? I hope this so. Here? On the ramp at Rocky Point, even if it doesn't push a boat, I wanna hear it. Yes, scream. Uh, totally. Probably, Please call me when you're gonna do that. <laughs> you can probably run it now, but the problem is, you know, if you run them, then you gotta clean the carbs and run it on. Yeah. This is another project I'm working on. This is a. Mark 75 8. The factory only built 48 of those. They're pretty rare. So that was a 75 horse? It was, yeah. Was that uh, Strang that was stacking the block parts together? like? Hmm? Was it uh, Chuck Strang that was... Charlie Strang? He he took a like a four-cylinder and just added the, another one to it. Like, did kind of a weld and... They, they did that on the... Uh, um, to make the first six. What's the guy's name? Uh, Dick O'Day. He made these uh, motors into loop chargers instead of cross scavenge. Mm -hmm. And they took a 255H's and, and cut one in half and made a six out of it. Mm -hmm. Hmm. And that's that's not, right. The Jackie fell of it. Yeah. Yes, he was. Yeah. I never, I never seen one of those myself until I that's bought a, that one. Now I got four of them. <laughs> that's a sixty-five XS. That's a triple. Yeah. That's a X. The X, right? Yeah, that's it was like their SE engine. With uh, or on a, in an unlimited class mod, mod fifty mod fifty right oh, okay that's a mod fifty engine in his day yeah the XS was only uh, ninety horsepower that one's one hundred and ten wow 
Did they make a stock version though where it's three cylinder, three carburetor? Like for the 65 horse Mercury? No, two you know, carbs. It was two carbs into three holes. Yeah. No, I have never seen one like that. That wasn't a popular class in the day though, was it? Not around here, no. No, like in the Pacific Northwest it wasn't. No. The only guy that had one was Potter and I never saw that one either. Yeah, when Potter and I went to uh, the OMC factory, he... Uh, I remember I've got he a had the little Molinari, that you'd the baby Molinari, but it never really ran. There wasn't a, really a class. <laughs> Some guys were really successful with these. Yeah, well, they they won their share. Yeah. They, they made the outboard wars a war. But what made what made these so good compared to just a hundred horse V4 Johnson that just never seemed to work right? You know, the, on the back of mom and dad's boat and like. <laughs> Nicely restored. I got these from Doug Richards. Oh, I remember Doug. Both the Strangler and the Stinger? There's uh, another one. And that was the 115, so that was really their first race, because that's 89 cubes as well. Even I though it. I find the Super Strangler, but they're really hard to come Yeah, with. and that's the one that was really the equivalent of so uh, I should, the Stinger. I see, especially for the light one, right? Yes. Healy, are you going to keep it, or do you really care? Are you going to keep it more North American type stuff, or you know, I mean, there's the Japanese and the, you know the German stuff. The, just the pro stuff, right? Is there, or is that stuff that's a car available? For events where they were running those, they were pretty putting up some pretty impressive numbers for speed wise oh. and sound wise. Right? Oh, it this was. This is a Johnson uh, alcohol motor. Is it? Yeah, let's see, it's got open stacks. Okay. Wow. This is a 1933. This one. 1933. SR 65. Where did you get this one from? New York. I traded him a 12 inch Merc Tower. Uh, <laughs> For a whole engine. Well, almost a whole engine. Well, and the spare lower unit. And the spare lower unit. Yeah. Isn't but the I internet mean, wonderful? But you should have seen it when I got it, right? Oh, it was in a box? It was a piece of shit. <laughs> but they all are. So the majority of them come pretty rough in pieces. That? The majority of them, when you get them, they come in pieces, pretty rough shape, and you, yeah, you get them. Like, like that one I got a couple of weeks ago in seashell. What yeah. that other one? Okay. Was, I had to beat it apart. But oh, that's what a score or something like that. I've never even seen a picture of anything like that. You know what this is? It's in, oh, oh. Fifteen hundred. Yeah, nice SJ engine. Mm. But that was sort of like the. That was a good With class, the eh? vented cowlings. Yeah. This is a 78H I'm working on. That is a beauty. Now here's the twin to that three cylinder over there. This is more of a oh, consumer look one. That. Nice it's looking. Got three carbs, but this is only 90 horsepower. Oh. And this has full gear shift with it. Okay. This is a 15 inch tower where the other one's 12 inch. So would they have run this one in a like a sport class? This one would be legal in a sport class of its cubic inch? I don't know if they ever had a class for this. They raced it in uh, Canada. Yeah. So like I said, I never saw one of these until I got these. So I'm looking at the back end of uh, that's a three cylinder Avenue, like that's a uh, that's a stinger, right there. Yeah. Yeah. That brings back a few memories. That does. Yeah, we're familiar with that. But I guarantee you've never seen a cowl like this. No. It's mod fifty cowl. Oh, nice. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice that thing looks mint yeah. from the outside, anyways, Lee. I kind of built this for Tom. That's his steering bars and his prop. Nice looking prop. Yeah, that was a great class. He's in, in Turkey. Oh, right he's now. in Turkey at a race? Offshore race. Isn't that exciting? Tom's with the uh, what? International Boating uh, 
uh, UIM. Federation, UIM, as, a, as a, an official. Well, they killed three or four guys. The, the canopies collapsed <sighs> when they go over, so he's helping redesign the canopy. Oh, for heaven's sake. Trying to come up with a spec. But they're all trying to build them so light. Yeah. Here's your motor here, Craig. I was up at Punch in the Lake. <laughs> yeah, there's a 1250, yeah. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, it's probably sitting there in perfect condition. What kind of condition that, would it be in? I don't well, know. It's good. No, after I, after I rebuilt it. It's yeah, good. yeah. <laughs> Great yeah, lower unit. Pretty rough shape, I'm sure. Yeah. Isn't that something? That's the 1250. This one's got the pipes on it. That's the classic engine. Yeah. Well, that's what mine had, right? And that's what got the water injection oh possibility. God. Yeah, the, mine didn't have that. And there's the uh, one that would race against the Chrysler with the pipes. <laughs> I remember the Chrysler in Port Moody. Ma Magna Power. Magna Power outboard. And look at that lower unit. Amazing that they actually built that. It looks pretty familiar to a Mercury. Would Chrysler really have built their own racing lower unit? They say it was pretty good. Yeah, it looks, you know, pretty similar to the Merc, but. That, that's a lot of engineering for a handful of... And, and Mercury props fit on it, right? Oh, hey, <laughs> how convenient! <laughs> What's this one with the multi -tool? Oh, yeah. Holy moly! This is a, called a Elto 460. Boy, I bet you that is weighs a, a ton. 1930. Oh, yeah, weight. <laughs> it's heavy. Oh, four-cylinder. Yeah. 60 cubic inch, so they'd run this against the 75H. This was an F class. Heavy though for yeah. racing. Yeah. <laughs> cool. It is so cool. And this one with the. Oh, eight. this one I raced a few times. This is before they had fuel injection. I had nitrous on it. Six carbs. <laughs> What do you think the horsepower would? I know there was always debate about that. Two fifty. Here's, here's the interesting part of this motor: is the back. Oh my! Look at that power pack. Twelve spark plugs. Oh, like an airplane. Mm. That's very interesting. Mm -hmm. Oh, did you actually run it with the oil? Yeah. I'll get around and get a shot from the other Here, side. let me get out of the way, Mike. Oh, I don't, I don't know if I can get in. Oh, yeah, here we go. So this was on, do you remember which boat you actually or did have it on more than one, one boat? Mm -hmm. Huh. I sold one of my boats. Terrific! That's I know I there got, was one in here before. That's why I got more room. Oh, perfect. Checkerboard pattern. That's pretty racy. So, hey, Lee, how much difference in this 1250 compared to that one with the stacks on the power head? That's a big P. This one is? Yeah. Oh yeah, and it's got the, exa uh, the exhaust up above the cavitation plate has nothing to do with the fact that it's a BP. That's not one of the... Same motors, just a stack. Okay. Mm -hmm. This has like power trim. Oh wow! <laughs> this does? Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> kind Perfect. of power trim. Don't, but don't. the reason I brought this over is, is like all these motors are Kind of unique in a certain way. Yes. So, anyways, you break the prop on this thing. Oh. Break the shear pin. Tilt it up. Click this little dude out here. And it swivels oh. into the boat. Oh, for heck. As long as you got a spare shear pin, you're in good shape. <laughs> like that, that's pretty cool. Use a nail. All else fails. That's Martin. pretty. Seven and a half. Pressure cooker company. You got it. That's <laughs> what it says right there. National Pressure Cooker Company. These don't have a reed valve. They have a popping valve. And that that rudder twin, it doesn't have a float in the car, but it has a little popping valve in it. Jeez. I thought that was kind of cool. That's Man. amazing. Good design. Someone was thinking. Tom's got two of these. <laughs> This is an XS, so I got two of those. Oh yeah, yeah. And I got two X's. See, that, that 44 looks nice. Condition.
trim wise, I know I, you know, I'll go it. I'm sure you put lots of old grease in. So like D-stock hydro is a very popular class. Yeah. What are they running? Are they keep running these? Well they're running these and the Tahatsu. The Tahatsu, really? Well they can't buy these things anymore. Right. The parts are getting hard to find, so they came up with a Tahatsu. They got the stock power head with the the guy uh, bass bass machine, they build a floor unit and the tower for the Tahatsu. Um, who's another one there? It's a newer engine, at, at least for, to my uh, limited knowledge here. Hot Rod for, for those, those pro classes? That's an American, is it not, Lee? Have you heard of that one? Champion Hot Rod. Might be Champion Hot Rod, but it's a it's an alcohol, right? Uh, Champion Hot Rod, they used to race things against it at 20 inch. Okay. But then there's a new company coming out, they're building a, I forget what the hell they call it, but they're building a brand new motor. For that? Well, they're building it. It's actually stock class. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I can't think about that call. But if you go on Hydra Racer. Yeah. I'm, I've got them on my favorites. Dot net. Yeah, HydraRacer.net. You'll see they got the... Uh, you'll find all that stuff there. Hey, what's that class? I think it's more in Europe, but I'm not sure. This is T2X. Oh, yeah. I remember that. Was, it only says 115 on the sticker. I saw a picture of... Uh, Fountain was a pair of these on this boat. On a, on a tunnel boat? Well, on his last round Molinari. On the Molinari. Oh, wow. That's as much as that boat would ever take horsepower wise. Oh, there's a classic. When I bought this, I bought it off Swinford. It was in a box and it said on the box T2X from Lee. <laughs> you bought your own engine back. <laughs> <laughs> I had like six of these at one time. Oh my goodness. Didn't they have a big big old dog called Rastus? Yeah. <laughs> that's Swinford's. Hey, that's a beauty. That that's the height of boat oh. racing right there. And uh that would be usually on about a seventeen foot tunnel. Yeah. And and it probably did you that would be in one of your record setting engines I'm sure in that in that era. Oh right? yeah, not by me, no. Not by you. But uh, Mercury just bought back their first twister craft. Oh really, the boat? Yeah. Um, Mike Butler got it for them. So they're gonna put restore it and. Yeah. Oh, very nice. Actually, they're making a movie, and uh, I think it's about fountain mostly. But Benz is going to be in it, and uh, Siebold. Yeah, actually they called me, because they wanted some of the footage that I had of, uh, of both those guys. So, so they're going ahead with whatever they're doing, yeah. because they bought the boat. Oh, wow. Yeah, no, it, yeah. the, the television guy called me and, and uh, was interested, because he'd seen all the movies. And there's some footage that we had from Mercury Promotion that they didn't have access to. So it, it did you some good all this work, then? Yeah, oh yeah, no, it, it goes noticed on the web. If people do a search about tunnel boat racing or mercury and, and you've or... you've met a lot of people through it. Oh, never ends. It's uh, it's amazing. It, and, you know, they, these aren't on the underwater. You know, people can actually enjoy them. They're not broken. <laughs> the only part I didn't have was this piece here. So you made it. I made it, but, but then I was at this uh, estate sale. And, uh, and there's piles of motors, like piles. <laughs> yeah. And I tripped over that. <laughs> <laughs> How ironic, eh? Oh, fuck, I jumped up a thousand six feet. <laughs> why, why is, Lee, why is there so much airspace in here? Yeah. With the cowl? What's the deal with that? That's one of my favorites. They... Ha. Ah. Make it look big. Scare the competition. Yeah. Right here, he's modified this whole shop area. Oh my god, I can't get over it. This is just too cool. There's a guy on Screaming Flag who calls himself US-1. I laughed. There you go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> no.
no shit, eh? Yeah. It's not right. I got three twos there. I don't know how that happened. Yeah. Oh, you must have had an off for you. Off for This? Uh, Yamato? Yamato, yeah. I bought that in Canada. Ooh. Some guy had it in uh, Kamloops and he sold it to a guy in White Rock and I got it from him. But they sell thousands of these all over the world. Are they still a company in business today? Yeah. They are. They use these for paramutual racing in Japan. Well, it's like horse racing. You bet on them. Get out of here, really? Yeah. yeah. I've heard that name, Lawson. I've heard of that. Lawson, yeah, that's yeah. a four stroke. Okay. This is another one of my favorites here. This is built in Canada. Look at that. This is 1931 Johnson SR50. That's like a piece of jewelry. And it came, came with a chrome flywheel, chrome lorry unit, and chrome gas tank. Very impressive. And it has a rotary valve. No. Takes the place of a reed valve? A rotary valve? Oh, you mean? There's no reed valves. It's a rotary okay. valve. And it has open exhaust. Sorry. Wow, that decal is in amazing condition. For that year, yeah. Now, Nick, the picture that we somehow ended up with after St. Louis that year, if we had that still, <laughs> would have been had a perfect home here. It would have belonged here, that's right. From the Mercury sponsored drunk. That's for real. Look at that. What the hell? There's no drive shaft in this. No crankshaft. That's the one you had in your shop for a while. I saw that in Port Moody. You tilt it up and put the rope around here to start it. And the rod is connected to the prop shaft. And the piston's right here. Get out of here. And that's no, a no, gas no. tank this at the top. House. Why should I leave? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Holy mackerel. Is this adjustable pitch prop? Yeah. Holy. And, and there's a little push rod goes off here and uh, goes up and down, opens or close the points. But I need the points and the push rod and there's a cover here I don't have. Oh, and who makes this? Well, this was made by uh, Clark. Forklifts <laughs> in Toronto. It's <laughs> <laughs> too funny. So that big bulb on top is a fuel tank, or what's this? Oh, there's this just a cover goes on here. Oh, that's a gas tank. Yeah. This is a carburetor. Oh my. There's no float bowl in the carburetor. There's a little tube goes right into the gas tank. Is it a coil? That's a coil. Yeah. You need that's a battery. This is a 20 inch. inch. All right. Then, then this is a 25 SF. It's 77, so it's still pretty old, but it's pretty shape. Wow. I'll see. That would be fabulous on a bathtub. We don't have that bathtub race anymore. Yeah. It took all the fun things away. Yeah. <laughs> and I think that's a KG4 there, race motor. That's like 15 cubic inches, and this is a KG7H, this is like 19 cubic inches. Then the 20H came along and replaced this. It looks so much smaller. And Yeah, and then this one, it came out with a exhaust system. Okay. And that ran away from this one. And they did that because the champion hot rod was winning, beat, the champion hot rod was beating this, so they came out with that. And a 30H and a 55H. Lee, were those, would that have been factory colors too for that engine? Yeah, they're factory colors. Okay. And here's another... Uh, <laughs> another one. <laughs> The 
took me like four years just to get a cowling for them. That's pretty cool looking one. Oh. That's 110 horsepower. <laughs> what kind of RPM? Oh, 7,000 or so, I guess. Mm -hmm. 110 horsepower out of how many cubic inch or, C or CCs or? Uh, I think it's like 60 cubic inch. 60 cubic inch. I don't know if I wrote it down there or not. Because <clears throat> the, wasn't, weren't the SE motors, like we ran those three cylinders, weren't they 49 cubes? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow, that is a ton of power in a little package. Yeah. They made this in a race motor also, and I'm trying to get one of those. Then there's another 7.5J. That's still a class today, is it not? J-class? J-class? Yeah. It's still a class running, operating now. Yeah, but they don't use that motor. No, no. Actually, they use a 15 horsepower OMC or... or uh, Merc 9, or Merc 15. Neat back in the day though when they made these things and, and it was such a big... Oh, here's something I found interesting. These pistons are out of the same motor, only one's a year older. And this one had disc rings in it. Okay. And this one had these rings in it. Oh wow. There's four rings on there. There's two in each slot. Yeah. What's interesting there is, uh, see the pin there? Yes. There's another pin there for the other ring. This is a uh, later model than this no, design? This is, this is older. And which perform better? Oh, I don't know. They're no? only three horsepower. So. Oh, okay. No, it's just the, the fact that it's different. That's pretty uh, drastic design change though, to have. Yeah. But I guess what they thought is that, you know, let's, uh, the rings, the opposite side, that would leak less compression on the power stroke. Mm hmm. So cool. I just uh, thought that was interesting. Pretty impressive. Hey, do they still run, do you know, today, Lawrence Lake, these kind of, for, you know, uh, Short course and long course records? Yeah. They actually, uh, the little outboard guys raced there a couple of weeks ago. It's right there, brand new. Holy Dinah. <laughs> they want like 25000 for the power head for one of those motors that I got now. New from the factory. So it's just out of sight. Jeez. That's a Chrysler. Oh. Really? Yeah. There's Chryslers there. Oh yeah. And what do they call these? Uh, some kind of foot? Club foot. Club foot. Yeah, it's a club foot. Or. That might be a club foot. That's just a stock gear case, or is that not a stock gear? Not case? stock, but but fitter. I think it even had reverse. Yeah, I guess that's a club foot because the uh, GT one fifty with the gear shift looked similar. Then these are Chryslers here. Those don't look like they're ever in service. They they have two different. Uh, lengths here. Oh yeah. See how this one's taller? Yes. Very, you can That's see that. That's shorter. But these have shear pins and this one has splines. Yeah. And there's a Sportsmaster there. The white one. That's for an old 80 direct versing. <laughs> it had a smaller torpedo. That's pretty rare. I've never seen one of those either. Hmm. And the rest are all Speedmasters. It's out back and I got a Speedmaster on it. It just happened to have a white Speedmaster, right? So that's an old six-cylinder then, right? Yeah, 80. 
direct reversing. This is 1250 PP3. Three drive shafts. Really? Yeah. Look at that. What the heck? How? Well, they shift gears, eh? Even if with the Speedmaster Lurry in it? Yeah, this is what it looks like that's inside. What, oh and that's the God. shaft, the prop shaft. That's and this the prop is where shaft. It, this is where it shifts here. That's great to be able to see. I've never seen yeah. the workings of it. So that's your main shaft off the crank. Comes down there. And I can't lift up because I got these washers in here. Oh, then it changes position. And, and you turn this. And it lifts this up. Nice engineering. And then it goes the other way. <laughs> so that was peculiar to the BP. Like no other Merc engine was doing it that way? Or? No, this... And then you can change these gears around, change the gear ratio. Oh, fascinating. On a Super Speedmaster, was it always one to one, or did they ever have an overdrive? Oh, well, they gear had ratio? one to one, thirteen, sixteen, and fourteen, fifteen. Those are both overdrive gear ratios on a Speedmaster. Well, thirteen, sixteen is uh, under thirteen, sixteen is what they use on those little motors. Okay. And uh, fourteen, fifteen would be on uh, like my Seabolt or whatever. Hmm. But I ran a 13, 16 sometimes. It was a real short course. You would wail on those guys. <laughs> Just a wail on them. And you did, too. <laughs>